All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And we got some BLM supporters in the building today. Now, whether that be for the Black Lives Matter organization or for the slogan hashtag itself, that's to be determined. Either way, this should be a fun one. Let's get it popping. Hey, Asian boy. What's your name? My name's Caitlin. What's That's your name? It. Katrina. We don't need to. Oh, the black girl over there with the hat. Oh yeah, her with the stripe. Like no. Oh, yeah, this white girl it's, with the hundred SPF because she burns so easily. We don't say that. <laughs> Let's just stop saying that so it won't be a problem anymore. That's where we have to try to fix mm-hmm. it within ourselves too, because yeah, yeah. we do have a little bit of a problem. We just have to stop always putting race in the mix. It can be out. Do you think then they should take off Black Lives Matter on the road right there? If we want to get rid of t- dividing races or hmm. picking one out of, hmm. of things, should we get rid of the Black Lives Matter? No. Not no? Yet. Not yet. No. Nope. But we're talking about we don't want to, you know, separate based on the races. I know, but we still have to get to that point. But like I said, until we both come to the understanding that Black lives does matter because of all the stuff that they've been through and let it be known that it is a problem and never went away until that is acknowledged then all lives matter have y'all been through some things have you sinned white black Asian Puerto Rican Mexican Guatemalan Canadian African whatever have y'all been through some things do we all got a past Do we label each other by our past or who we are today? Who you see in the mirror today? All lives matter. Not just black, not just white. Everybody bleeds red universally. That's what I know to be the case. We were all created in God's image. That's what I know to be the case. So why have any signs up at all? Let's just be good to each other. Let's just have good moral values. But we'll discuss this as it goes on. I I see where she's coming from, but I don't agree. Know that it is a problem and never went away until that is acknowledged then all lives matter. You see what I'm saying? Then all that can come off once ended, that didn't is it? finally acknowledged. Segregation that. You ended, don't didn't think it? in America yeah, in 2020 problem. that you don't think everyone agrees that black lives matter, that oh, no. humans, do you think Common everyone sense. agrees that white lives matter? Honestly, <laughs> I, mean, I believe all lives matter. White lives matter. I do believe that. But do you think lives. America Take the color as a off. whole would agree that. with you that white lives matter just like black lives matter? Because if you take a poll... No. No. You don't think so? No. Mm-mm. So we got Not a problem. Not all Americans will believe. As people. No. Because I do believe America is still based on white. It's the truth. You guys are the dominant. And sorry, take that back. Don't, I need, don't, don't, don't need to say you guys, but what the dominant. Said. Like... Are we dominant or are we the majority of a skin color? Because when you say we're dominant, yes. you're implying yeah. that we we're have dominance women. over people, which is mm-hmm. not true. I mm-hmm. don't believe in systemic racism. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a police brutality problem against people of color in America. That's statistically not true. It's not happening. Uh, and we can dive into that. But if we look at the statistics and we look at the crime rates and we look at who is being brutalized by the police, it's not a racial problem. I don't agree with you at, at that at all. Why don't Do you, you mind agree? if I take 10 seconds to try to change your mind? Go ahead. So, I 13. I knowledge. Yes. No, knowledge is power. So, because so, so, you didn't know that about Black Lives Matter and their mission statement and everything yeah, about, know. yeah, so. With everything going on, uh-huh. and I'm sure I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you believe with the Black Lives Matter movement, there's probably a police brutality problem within the black community, right? You think they're a target? I don't want to put words in your mouth, but is that something you would say yes? Yeah, because just the reality is, is how many black people are in jail right now, in prison. Look at that number. Okay. Let's talk about how many unarmed black men were shot in 2019 by the police, shot and killed. I don't know how many men. That- With everything going on, it's painted on our streets, there's riots happening, there's protests happening. Would you think that number is substantial? Because all... We're just talking about it nonstop. Black Lives Matter, police brutality. If you had to put a number on it, mm-hmm. what would what would you guess? What range? I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I would just say it's a good number because in the end, number, it doesn't huh? even matter about the number. The reality is, if this person, if you just felt threatened and this person was unarmed, if it doesn't matter about the number, why does she point out that there's more white people? The white people are the majority, the overwhelming race than black people. If it doesn't matter about the number, but nobody wants to talk about that black folks kill more black folks crime wise and abortion wise. I believe all life matters. No matter if you want to label it a zygote, a fetus, it's a life. That's a that's a, a, a loophole that people try to use. But at the end of the day, when 
Conception happens when DNA is formed, genetic DNA that can't be duplicated, can't be mimicked, that's unique to that. That baby, it's it's a life. It, it has value. And black people kill more babies than any other race. Maybe that's why there's not as many black people as white people. Black people kill more black people within their own color creed than within any, any other race. Just look at Chicago alone. I live in Illinois and Chicago is wild. There's crime, black on black crime every single day running wild. Nobody wants to talk about that though. Why is that the case? Is it a race problem or is it a we don't respect and value life problem? And you didn't follow procedure and went ahead and shoot him. I'm sorry. You felt threatened because of his color. That's how I well, feel. Oh, yeah, I, I think the numbers do matter because when we look at the numbers, we find that nine unarmed black men were shot and killed by the police. All came back justified except for two and the officers were held accountable for that trying to show these people what the truth is but look at them right there she has her phone in her hand i hope she's looking up what systemic racism is she'll find out it doesn't exist there's a lot of numbers that are out there and we don't know the cops keep it within themselves do you think they don't do things well to let's, keep let's, together? let's 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 do so hypothetical really? let's pretend it's not just Conspiracy something that they made much. up let's pretend these are the numbers does that shock you that it was nine nine still too many i agree with you but does it shock you no it doesn't is it, is it surprising no, it's not surprising. I agree. One is too many, but justified seven of the nine and the two that were wrong, because again, we've all sinned. There there are bad police in the in the gang. There's bad everything and bad doctors, bad all that malpractice, all that stuff. There's bad in every every facet, every field, every everything. Humans are known to be evil to the core at, at, at some point in their life or at somewhere across the board. But seven out of nine were justified because the person, the criminal, put themselves in that position. Accountability. That's what it comes down to. But the two that weren't wrong, bad, held accountable. That's what it comes down to. But I don't get it, man. This victim mentality, this everybody's out to get you and, and holding you down, oppression, it, it's nonsense. Don't. Nine's still too many. I agree with you. But does it shock you? No, it doesn't. Is it, is it surprising? No, it's not surprising because how I feel, I'm like nine is a number, but still the reality is how many black people are in prison? How and many why do you think more black people are in prison? Exactly. Why, why, do why do you think? Don't answer a question with a question. I think fatherless homes. That's one huge monumental reason, but nobody ever talks about that because nobody even believes in a, in a two parent nucleus anymore and raising a family and, and they send their kids off to public school and wonder why they get corrupted because they're influenced by other people who have no moral foundation. It doesn't matter. Black, white, none of that stuff matters. But she said it in one simple statement. Numbers don't matter. It doesn't surprise me. Numbers don't matter because of how I feel, because of how it makes me feel. All feelings these days, zero logic, zero common sense. Because I do believe racism is still alive. Like every little thing is like, oh, let's go ahead and put this guy in there instead of that same other race guy can do the same exact thing, but he get a lesser charge than that person. That is a problem. Well, do the you think it's purely that? by, okay, give me the numbers. Do you know the population, the percentage of population in America that is African Americans, black people. That are in prison? No, just just the population in general. <laughs> she keeps pushing just thirteen percent of the population are black people. Okay. Okay. They commit black people commit that thirteen percent of the population, over fifty percent of violent crimes in our country. Do you think that might account for why there are more black people in prison? or the jail, or hmm, maybe. the system. But why do you think it's 50%? Why, why, that means you're saying black people are troublemakers. I'm not saying that. I, those but aren't the, my I, words. I know, but, but if you numbers, get that from the numbers, mm -hmm. is if that's what the numbers say, then that might explain why there mm, are more black people in our prison systems. No, you don't. Be you that. think it's not racism? Po not possible. I, I do believe they're out to I get do us. Because, like I said, in the end, once we yes, we knowledge is power, but yes, numbers with nine people all together got killed from police. Okay, still it's nine too many. She keeps saying knowledge is power, but then dismisses every fact and logical point being made. It <laughs> every every single fact she's given. Do you think facts? Knowledge. When you gather facts, when you read, when you gain wisdom, and from experience or from other people or from books or whatever it may be, isn't that knowledge? Isn't that considered going into your brain and stored as information to be used later? Isn't that knowledge? But anybody gives you facts, you're not, you believe something else. If I believe I'm God, that don't make me God. If I believe I'm a bird, that don't mean I could get up, fly away and go eat bird food. And I mean, I could eat bird food, but I'm, it don't mean I'm gonna go up and fly and soar and have little, little tweety birds. Just because you believe it doesn't make it true.
Facts hurt feelings, but you can't say knowledge is power and not be willing to gain that power when somebody's giving it to you. And still, how many people are in prison? So that's a lot of people, so you can't just tell so me oh, up. automatically just... Well, black people, you just need to stop me doing stupid stuff. Like, well, I didn't say that. No, I know you didn't okay. say that. Okay. I'm black people. I'm not All people, follow the rules, follow the laws in place, respect life, respect other people. I don't care what color you are. If you act up, if you, you break the law, you should be held accountable, whether that's in jail or whether you escalate it to a, a, a situation of violence, that's on you. Nobody told you to do that. Nobody told you to resist arrest. Nobody told you not to just pull over to the side and instead you chose to evade the police, get out your car, run into your house. The cop, the cop has a life too, whether they're black or white. Like they don't know whether you're going to whip out a gun, a knife. They don't know what your intentions are, but all indications point to you're not following the rules. You're going against the grain. So what do you think is going to happen? Saying that you said that, but in general, I'm taking from my opinion, from what I'm hearing is like still at the same time, it is a problem. Well, maybe. I just want to maybe give you the idea that maybe you could walk away from this and think that maybe it's not because of racism. Maybe it's because the black community does commit more crime. That would make their communities more policed. You don't think it's possible that they commit that much crime? No. I no, couldn't don't. be. Why not? Be. We, perfect because out here the amount of people, if you say there's like uh, with 13 percent, how many percent? is the white people. I think it's about, I want to say 60, because there's a whole bunch 60. of other races. So there's 60, all right? Just say 60, just, just use that number. We have 13, and 13%, predominantly, most of them are bad. Looking versus at it the, wrong the reality way. is, most of these serial killers, who are they? Who are the people that actually shoot up schools? Who are the people that actually shoot up in Los Angeles? Who are they? Horrible when, when it happens, a school shooting, whether it's a, a white man, a black man, a woman, or whatever it may, may be. Do you know how rare those cases are? There's killings in Chicago every single day. And that's not to, to count all the other low income, uh, predominantly black neighborhoods throughout the country that, that, that go through crime rates out of this world. Every single day, somebody's getting killed in Chicago, whether it's a little boy, a little girl, a man, a woman. You don't see a school shooting on the news every single day. You don't see a mass shooting in, in Vegas every single day. Come on now. Nine, per nine percent of the country no are black men. Down. They commit more than 50 percent of all murders in the country. All mm. murders of any serial killers. If we killers. start with <laughs> serial kills, because I'm one of those people that I'm really into extreme investigations, true crime, TV. true crimes, crime Not junkie. I'm a crime I junkie see. fan. Um, no, there's a lot, a lot of 60 percent. You said 60 percent, right? Of them that they do a lot of crazy crimes. They sure but do. All of a sudden, we're the ones that because we're such a small number, we're 13 compared to you. We're the most dangerous ones. Not I'm not saying you're the most dangerous, and I don't, wanna, I don't yes. want you to think that I'm saying that or claiming that about the black know, community. I'm not, but I really want, want, want you to maybe look at, instead of looking at TV shows and documentaries and things that want to grab your attention, Let's step into look life. at the statistics. 9% of the, of the population in America are black men. Over 50% of murders in our country. Murders. So when you want to talk about serial killers, those are added into their murders. If you want to be realistic. Because we're not talking happy. about, we're not chanting white lives matter we're talking about black lives matter black people but what is the are chanting black this lives matter, though what is the main reason why black lives matter because they just want to let it be known that hey me we have a problem here just just acknowledge me but just what is understand. the problem is the problem the police or is the problem within their community the problem is Accept me. I'm not a bad person. No, I don't think anybody I'm thinks that me. but the statistics, the statistics show shows that you guys that, think that just think about it so you just I think say, that so next time so a, a little boy's on the corner, South Side Chicago, see another boy across the street, rival gang, whatever the situation may be. They want something that the other person has. I want the next person to say, my life matters. My life matters. Do they do they do that? No, you won't see that happen. But they want to tell white people, oh, we matter. Hello. But they won't tell each other that we matter. Come on now. Statistics shows that you think that black people are bad. No, the no. Statistics, statistics statistic. can't show what people what think. You're statistics <laughs> just show what the reality is, and we can look at statistics and graphs and Sip things that. that have been collected <laughs> over decades, and we can see where the problems might be within these communities that are destroying the cities right now. We can look at these statistics, and we can maybe narrow so down where the, the issue ring. might be. And if we want to solve issues, 
I tell you what, Black Lives Matter is not the not the place we need to look for solving issues when police brutality, when they want to take the fathers out of the home. Ooh, you remove the fathers, you destroy the nuclear family for children that need to grow up in a stable family structure. Amen, Caitlin. Their odds of committing crime and going to jail skyrocket. I don't know why we say black people have an issue with the police and then want to make their risk of getting Hallelujah. involved in the police go up. I would encourage you to look at their mission statement and then look at the statistics about what happens when we take fathers out of the home, especially for the black community. It is detrimental to them. I think it was a few weeks ago, I don't know, some guy was just trying to go in a car with his kids, three kids. I don't know that. No. I don't know the full story about no. that, but based on what I've seen so far, so how you, go? you can't tell me that's not a problem. Well, but it's still I would like to talk opinion. about that. Because if you don't know the full story, you can't give an opinion uh, he on it. had a warrant out for his arrest for sexual um, sexual offenses and domestic violence. And he was involved in an altercation. He was fighting with the police. He actually had, I think, an object in his hand. I don't want to say a knife because I don't know for sure. He had an object in his hand fighting with the police. And they told him not to go in the car because he had said, I have a gun in the car. So he was going okay, into the car. what about the guy that actually just fell? Well, what about the guy that we were just talking about? Is that not... Is that not wrong that he committed a crime, that he had a gun in the car, that he had another object in his hand? Do you not value the cop's life because the cop is white or whatever color the cop? We got to value all life. But black lives matter. But now you want to switch up the subject because it doesn't go with your rhetoric. You even admitted that you didn't know the full scale in all the details that were involved so why are you speaking on it why are you automatically jumping to a conclusion wait till all the facts are established then make your claim then make your argument that's what people do they run with the cnn headlines that are usually false journalism one of the biggest problems in america as well and then they just paint this rhetoric paint these movements and just just run with it but no facts were established and it's all based on falsehoods you can't do that man a lot of people have been killed and hurt because of false realities blatantly killed and put who whatever his, i forgot his name that's bad but it was george floyd george floyd did you watch but any body cam end, footage like Go, hold on did you did you watch any body cam footage yes i actually did i did watch um the body cam footage and that was wrong that cop was held accountable although i couldn't put myself in his shoes i don't know how i would react but he was held accountable you know what i'm saying derek chauvin held accountable in jail what do you get like 20 20 plus years at least like a, a basically a life sentence and the two other ones i believe are still on trial had his foot on the neck or knee on the neck or whatever it was wrong took, took it to another situation but guess what george floyd wouldn't have been in that situation had he not ingested that fentanyl had he not resisted arrest had he not went to pay with counterfeit money had he not been a career lifelong criminal Come on now. You you don't see just honest, everyday people, white, black, no matter what it is, you don't see those people resisting arrest. You don't see those people getting put in those situations to where that can happen. Accountability, people. Can we get it back? Can we have it? My goodness. He was he saying can't, he, he can't, can't breathe. I can't yes. breathe. He said, yes. So he said, I couldn't breathe several times, saying mm -hmm. he's claustrophobic, he can't get. And you're laughing, but I don't think it's funny because we've now destroyed our city. Why is that funny, though? Allowing you. No, she don't. She don't want. She don't want. Why not? Right she don't want to be recorded. I, I don't want to be recorded. Hey, listen, okay. Miss Curl, come. If you. I mean, we are in public, and if you want to record us, I welcome it. I, I oh, love yeah, being I'm on not camera. Not it's great. You but you are in public. I, if, seriously, if you think there's an issue, hey, I don't. I don't want any problems. But I'm call the police if there is an any, issue. No but I would issue. encourage you. Don't record her. Just don't record her. Like, right. But I'm she's okay. laughing at, at a situation but that is detrimental to our country. That's right. Your opinion. It's your opinion. The same thing like I'm It's not an opinion. In what happened in the body cam it's footage, hap it's not an opinion. about what happened. Oh, no, I'm not talking about happened. feelings. I am talking Sweetie. about facts about what happened. It's an opinion how you it's feel not. about the facts. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's that an is an opinion. How yep. you feel about the facts. It sure is. Versus yeah. my opinion, how I feel about the facts. I'm not trying to get in an argument because personally it doesn't affect me. Because in the end, what bound to happen is bound to happen. I'm not going to be stressed over this. I do believe all Clearly lives matter, all. but I right. do believe in the end, until you fully understand there's a problem with the black community, then no lives matter. But I am a firm believer of all lives matter. Conclusion? I'm one of those people. But at the yes. same time, all lives, we no all lives, need to fully lives. understand each other's side. The you keep way, saying you to understand, understand each other's sides, but you keep telling me life. things that aren't happening, and it's right there in the body it's footage. My you're, I'm trying to explain things that I see that's going on, and you're like, well, no, that's not facts. Justin, she's... This is painful to watch. What, what is this? Let's just...
That's just I don't know. I feel like we should end this because officer? I don't know what's going on. Okay. It was nice Justin, meeting you guys. It is Katrina, it was I great know. meeting you. I appreciate <laughs> I the conversation. I oh man, I love I, I'm assuming that's her friend. I love how the friend went straight to the cop when her feelings got hurt, yet they believe the police are the problem. The same people that point the finger at law enforcement, they'll be the first ones to go get them because a social worker is not gonna show up to the scene. Most of these people also don't believe in the Second Amendment, so they're not gonna defend themselves. Who's going Man, the... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I have no hard feelings. No, no hard feelings at all. You're a stranger. I can't have hard feelings towards go, go to, go, you. Go Katrina was amazing. Katrina was a very respectful person that I feel like was oh, halfway uh open to listening to a conversation. I think I think she has a little bit of bias that is clouding her ability to see the truth of what's happening and what Black Lives Matter is and what is going on in the George Floyd case. Um, unfortunately, her friend, I mean, she's still laughing. She started laughing when I started talking about the truth about what happened with George Floyd. When we pointed the camera over at her because she had a big old smile on, you'd think that she'd want to be in the in the frame there. She looked like she was ready for the camera, broke down in tears. She, she was all of a sudden a victim. But what she doesn't understand is that she's in public and she can be filmed. If she doesn't want to do it in public, she shouldn't be out here. I, I don't know Walk what this away. gentleman on the bike was supposed to do for her. I don't know why she went crying to him. But these are the situations we get in when someone wants to be rude or wants to be unprofessional or wants to be a little giddy, a little girl. Uh, and then they don't want to take Caitlin the heat boss. when they get caught out on it. So great video, Liberty Hangout and Caitlin Bennett. They did their thing. I appreciate the conversation from the young lady. I appreciate the girl laughing in the background. It made for good content. And it just goes to show you if we keep spreading videos like this, the realities of what's going on and how people don't really want to face the facts and they don't really want to address what's really going on. They got this false narrative. They want to push this victim mentality. That's not right. Fatherless homes, not two parent households, sending kids to public school instead of opting for homeschooling and false misleading journalism, in my opinion, those three things would have contributed most to the detrimental moral values seen in kids and young adults today, specifically in that video right there. I know that wasn't an extreme case. She wasn't acting a fool. She at least had the conversation. But what you see on social media, what you see with, with these Karens out here in the streets, that's the problem. Now, we can talk about statistics and feelings and what you believe happened and how that makes you feel and react until we're blue in the face. But without a way to move forward, without a solution offered, we're not going to get anywhere. We're going to still see this crazy society we're living in today where buildings are getting burned down, black, white, everybody killing everybody. We need to love everybody. And we need to stop paying so much attention to how much melanin is in somebody's skin or lack thereof. And remember, we were all created in the image of God. What matters most for you and I is where we're going to be when we meet our maker and face eternity. And we all need Jesus. No matter what you say, no matter what you believe, we all need Jesus more than we need that next breath of fresh air. And I know me just saying this in, in today's climate and day and age, may get me persecuted. And I'm perfectly content with that possibility. Now, as long as we have movements like Black Lives Matter and all these fancy slogans that promote victim mentality, people are never gonna get ahead. But if they're willing to make the sacrifices that most people aren't willing to make, then later on, they'll be able to live like most folks will never be able to live. But some people, even some of y'all watching, are so immature that you're willing to delay gratification, delay pleasure in the moment for a greater result down the line. Example, having a illicit sex with a temporary person instead of working on yourself and, and waiting for that covenant that God created called marriage. Or something like substituting drugs and alcohol for a brief high that only sinks you lower and lower into your battle with depression and anxiety instead of facing whatever the problem is head on sober until it's no longer an issue in your life. Nobody wants to hear that though because that's reality. That's facts. That's an ego check. Stop blaming everybody else for where you're at in life. More than likely, if you're over the age of 18, it's your fault and it, you may not have had a father. It is what it is. You don't have a father. I didn't have a father growing up. I consider him basically a sperm donor. Didn't didn't pay child support. I knew who he was. I spent time with him here and there. But overall, it was my mom raising me. I had to find my own way. I had to battle with sin time and time again. Guess what? I made it out. Guess what? You can make it out. I'm 25% black, irrelevant. That, however much melanin I got, however much melanin you got, irrelevant. You can get wherever it is that you want to get. That means if you're, if you're the one that got yourself into this mess, wherever you're at, whether you want to blame everybody else or not, you're in this mess, that means you can get yourself out. And no 
politician's promises or government handout will fix you. No uh, law, regulation, or mandate will fix you. Now, some of those things may help you temporarily, but none of them will do a thing unless you take charge of your own life and get right with God, also known as, you know, repentance and starting your walk with Jesus Christ. And you've probably seen my videos before. If you haven't, welcome. But I dish out biblical soul food and I share the good news, the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth, because that's what I feel God put me here to do. My testimony is I was saved. I know you can be saved. If I can be forgiven, Jesus took on the cross for all the anxiety, depression, evil, and sin in the world then you're already forgiven once you face him. But I got to take it to scripture. If you don't believe me, Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 and 2 out of the ESV version, English Standard Version, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. So the good news for that is if you're feeling stressed or anxious or whatever you're going through, just remember that this is only one season of your life. You have a choice and you might be in a stage of planting right now, but, but your time to bloom may be just around the corner. So you got to stick with it. And another one for you, just because why not, is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. That's God talking. So he has a plan for your life. He already knows why things happen the way they do. And when things get tough, remember that God is in control and it's all part of his plan. He's going to work it all together for the greater good. Now, I'm not saying stop trying, fall back, lay in the bed, watch Netflix all day. You still got to keep pushing. But you got to know that even if it's hard to understand and fathom why things are happening at the at the current time that they are, God's got it under, under control. Don't let state, Satan come in and ruin your day and ruin your plan. You deserve happiness if you're willing to work for it, if you're willing to, to face Jesus and, and have true faith and be a good person. Stop blaming everybody else for your problems. Stop labeling all these things in society that don't exist. Face the music, get up day in and day out, spread love, spread joy, smile, be, be grateful that you're here on this side of the grass, breathe in life, and keep on moving forward. Now, I know not everybody's going to agree with my take on it. Not everybody's going to have a relationship with Christ. And that is what it is. It's unfortunate. But comment your thoughts below. Let's keep this conversation rolling. What's your thoughts on BLM, the organization, the movement? Uh, what's your thoughts on everything that's happening in society? I want to know. We can still respect each other. Be civil in the comment section. We're all entitled to our own opinion. We all have freedom of speech. So keep that in, at the forefront before you keyboard thug it out. But I do want to know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my videos. Share this video whether you agree or disagree, at least keep the discussion going. At least allow other people to make their own decision on what they just saw and have their own thought process and go from there. Don't just say knowledge is power and then not be willing to accept that power, accept some other people's knowledge and wisdom and experience, and then just deny it because it doesn't fit with your thought process. Don't be naive and ignorant to other facts because facts are out there and they are what they are. You can't change them just because you get upset and butthurt about it. If you want to support the channel, you can always hit that thanks button down below. It has a little heart next to it. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family donate on paypal you don't got to do any of that at all just showing up i appreciate the viewership the friendship i hope i love y'all i'm praying for you no matter what uh if you want to buy some gibby gear that's linked below all the other links of products i use to make these videos and brands that support me can be found in the description if you need prayer you need to get a hold of me business opportunities whatever it may be you want to send me a hate email even that's that's always welcome as well devin at devgibson.com but until next time i love y'all i'm praying for you godspeed i'm gone